Hey guys, welcome to my bathroom. Today we are going to do a little bit of a get ready with me with some new products from Nordstrom. This video is in partnership with Nordstrom and I thought I would do a look like my everyday skin, but I'm not going to do any liner and I'm not going to do any lashes today. And I'm going to use some new products. I'm going to use the new Valentino foundation, which I love. I actually did this video yesterday and if this one doesn't turn out, we'll use that one. But I realized you have to work fast with this foundation. It is full coverage. It is long wearing. It is beautiful. I love it. It lasts all day long. And I actually, this color is perfect. It's very neutral. So I ordered the exact same level, but in the warmer tone. And I think the two of those combined will be perfect, but this is good too. And then I did get the new NARS corrector. Ooh, I'm glad I remembered that because that's what we need to do first. Then we're going to do the new, this is, oh my goodness, this product is, even when I was watching my video back yesterday, and I put this lid in here upside down, I, this stuff is just fabulous, fabulous. And I am filming on my phone today. We're trying, you know, we're trying all new things until I find the perfect one or the best one. I've got to get perfect out of my mind. If I'm not looking directly at the camera, it's hard to do that in your phone. So anyway, we're going to use this and I might even use this on my eyes today. And then I did get a new blush from Chanel. It is the Ombre. It's one of their newest blushes. I think that you guys might like that. It looks very, I don't know, we might use this for the eyeshadow. Who knows? And then I did get a new Valentino lipstick. I have worn this for like three days in a row now and it's beautiful. But I'm also going to try the Star Powder, Honey Star Powder with you today. So if you would like to see these things in action, just keep on watching. So let's start with this. It's got a brush instead of a doe foot. And I need to, okay, I need to work in this mirror. So I'm just going to put that on there and I might, I'm trying to figure out, do I want to use my finger on this? Yeah. Yesterday I used a sponge and I feel like sometimes that is best. And I'm going to use this. I always have these veins on the side over here. And then I'm going to use what's left. It's funny, I just this morning made an appointment for tomorrow for a consultation for a consultation for IPL. And I, of course I would love for it to get rid of any dark spots, any redness. But my sister-in-law was just here and she gets the IPL done regularly and you wouldn't believe her skin, just the tightness. So I'm gonna get back on that bandwagon, I believe, and start doing some more IPL. Okay, so here is the foundation. It is, um, what color is this? MN3, which I had to read all up on this yesterday. That is going to be your medium neutral three. So I ended up ordering also the MA, which is ombre three, an amber type color. And I think we're gonna use a sponge today. And I'm gonna do one pump at a time, because I mean, this stuff dries fast. And I believe they suggest using a sponge. And I see why. But can you believe this coverage? And then of course I'm gonna run it down my neck. So that is half of my face. Wow. That is some good stuff, you guys. So one pump, work fast. 
I do go over my eyebrows. And then, okay, that is definitely the way to do it. Because yesterday when I used a brush, it dried so fast that I ended up having to apply too much. You know, as I watched my video yesterday, I was critiquing myself. I was thinking, I have to get too far up in the camera. Nobody gets that far up in the camera or in the mirror. And I remember a, it was my ex-husband's co-worker's wife. It was actually his boss's wife. She would get in the sink. She would crawl up on the, no matter where we were, if we went on vacation or anything. And she was small, but she would get on the sink and then do her makeup in the mirror while she was sitting on the sink. And I have seen pictures of girls doing that on Pinterest, so that must be a thing. So it made me feel not quite as bad that I have to get close up. I think a lot of it too is I wear one contact. So I have one eye that's good for far away and then one eye that's good for close up. Okay, so now we've got the corrector and the foundation on. I am going to forego the powder the Laura Mercier, you know, powder that I normally use. And what am I gonna do? I think I'm just gonna wait until the end and see if I feel like I need anything else and then go from there. But right now, let's just get started with the star product, which is this, the Chanel Bronzer Universal Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream in Tan Deep Bronze love this stuff so much. Let's use any little round foundation type brush and you'll see it's just like magic. I'm going to use it all over. See how it just like instantly blends in. And then, of course, I always, I'm a big jawline sculptor because it makes a difference. And you want a little bit to be seen because that's what creates that shadow of an edge right there. And since I think I'm going to go with my no, I'm going to do my minimal makeup today. This is what I would do. If I just knew I didn't want to wear a lot of eye makeup, I will usually do more like on my cheeks. I'm going to do a little bit on the end of my nose because I have a longer nose. Is that enough? I think it is. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, for brows, let's do my typical brow. goodness, I almost forgot one of the stars of the show, and that is this beautiful powder. You guys, this powder is so fabulous. And get it in your brush. And I like to start setting my cheeks with it first. See, can you see the difference? It's, it's beautiful. They did a great job on this. And then... What I have left, or left in here, I'm gonna. But this foundation is kind of like the All Hours or the Estee Lauder. It is going to pretty much set itself. Okay, this is the new blush. Okay, a lot of times a blush will look like that and it will actually have a lot of color. So I'm going to See what it looks like. Did that add anything? Boy, nothing smells like a Chanel blush. Speaking of Chanel. Okay, so did that do anything that gave me a little bit of a just more natural look? The jury is still out on that. Let's do, this is what I pulled yesterday because I think everyone would love this blush from Chanel. This is the Rose Bronze. I have gone through 
I know two of these and hit pan. This is something, this was one of my favorites before YouTube. All right, Chanel? Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, yay. Actually, dot in the light side. You can see how much I love this and the dark side. Start up here and then I go out like that. And then I come in here and just finish up. Take the light and start. And then I just kind of, and then I always take the dark and finish up out here. And then with this brow, it needs to arch up a little bit more just to match the other one. And I, I feel like you should always step back and look at yourself in the mirror when you're not close up. You want to look at yourself the distance you would be from a person. I think, you know, no one is going to be as close as the pictures on Instagram. You know what I mean? So don't hold yourself to that standard. Okay, so I think that's good with my brows. I'm going to just brush them and I'm gonna leave them probably a little bit heavier than usual. Now I'm gonna use the Anastasia Brow Gel. And now, let's see. I don't even think I'm gonna use any lid primer. I think I'm gonna go straight in. I don't know if I'm gonna go in with this or that new bronzer or new blush. Let's see what the blush does first. Let's do one eye with one, one eye with the other. I'm gonna go in with that same brush and I'm just gonna hit my brow bone with it like that. I think if, you, if I were to use this smaller end, it wouldn't be as natural looking. I would be placing it more. So I kind of like just letting this big brush hit that bone like that. A Chanel big fluffy brush. So I'm gonna get some of that and I'm gonna go and do basically the same thing. And see, because my bone, my eye bone here, ocular, whatever it is bone, it sticks out and my eyes are deep set, I'm not like, I don't go in the crease like this. I stay on that bone because I'm wanting to recess that bone and bring out my eyes. But you have to go with your eye shape. So what do we think? Which one looks better? I think this one looks better just because I brought it up higher. So I'm going to do that over here and then I'm gonna take this and if there's anything left, I'm gonna do this one so that they match. See, I like that. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go under my eyes probably go out with no mascara and just do this but I know most of you are going to want to wear mascara and I do not even know if I have a lash curler here let me see okay. I don't have a lash curler but you know what we haven't done lips and I've got a new lipstick okay yesterday I used this and it looked so good this is the Chanel lip liner in Pavoin, and here is my Valentino lipstick. Here, let me try to get. I think this lipstick is called like hot beige or something, but it's pink. I'm 
I love it, and it wears well. It actually almost stains your lips. And, okay, so now what are we gonna do? Let's do mascara. Let's do the Dior mascara. I just got this, pump and volume, oldie but a goodie. It'll probably be good for this because it thickens but doesn't lengthen that much. Well, it does, but you just have to work to get it at the end. At the ends of your lashes, I'm trying to say. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh. I messed that up. I'm definitely not putting mascara on my lower lashes because I don't want to drag down my eye or put any more shadow under my eye. So I just like the top ones. And I like to wing mine out to the side. To me, if you have long hair or just if you have to put your hair back when you're getting ready, I think it is essential that before you finish, you put your hair down and see, you know, what shows and what doesn't show in the whole look. So, I actually like this, guys. I actually like this whole look. Okay, I do think I could use a little bit of... I'm gonna put the cap on this Chanel. I do not want it drying out. I hope that this isn't limited edition. I hope that this is always gonna be available because I love it so much. Okay, now what was I gonna do? I was gonna use some of this concealer that I like so much. I gave away the darkest color because it was just like the color of my skin. So I've got 250 and 260. I think I'm gonna use the 250, bisque 250. And this does, you have to be careful when you pull it out because it'll like go on the bathroom. So careful. I'm gonna put just a dot right there, just a dot right there. I know that it's showing up darker in the camera just because I have you know, it's just the way it is. So, trying to do this for real life here, not just the camera. Just keep that right in there. Oh, this is beautiful, beautiful concealer. I'm also going to I peel my hands and arms, but I have to, on that, I know I'm going to have to wait until I quit getting in the sun. You guys, I actually like this look. I did it just for you. You know I would have always, always done lashes and liner. So, thank you. I'm sorry if I looked at the wrong place the whole time. Thank you for being here. Thank you to Nordstrom for asking me to partner with them, and I cannot wait until the next one. I've already got another order coming. It's got some more Valentino, and it's got some Sicily products in there. So I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.